What is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a team of the season review on Hermoso. 87 rated centre back. What a card. In general, don't look at it face value. Trust me on it. Pick him up. He's 70k. Obviously he's probably going to... He's going to fluctuate a little bit over the next few days. He may go down a little bit. He may go back up on Friday. My kind of thinking is he's going to stay, stay around about there. Um, he may go up 5 or so K after uh, Friday when he's out of packs. But I don't see him going up too much. But 6 foot, he's gone from a 73 rare to a 77 uh, gold rare uh, in the winter upgrades. And now he's got himself an 87, which is a 10 plus on it to his team in a season card 91 pace 87 defending 86 physical this card was fantastic for me like i said six foot left footed four star weak foot two star skill moves medium medium on the work rate so the one things i take away from there is the foot the uh weak foot is fantastic really really rate that i don't see many defenders nowadays with um a better weak foot than than that um, I bet there is some five stars out there, but I haven't seen many recently in reviews anyway. And then work rates realistically are they're, they're not they're not really that important to be honest. Um, mainly in centre backs anyway. I don't see the importance in them. Um, left footed, fantastic to be on the left side. Personally, I was playing him on the right um, just because that week four I wanted to try it out and see if it worked well. Um, personally, I had no problems with him, and it really helped the fact that. When he's on the right side, as he is left footed, a lot of players cut in. So it's really good to have his dominant foot on that cut in um, and then still be pretty much just as good on his right foot as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. Some of the stats we've got going on, there's some big ones. There is some real, real big ones. For one, 98 jumping. Absolutely incredible. He wins a lot of headers. There is some obviously he loses out on. He is six foot, so he's not quite six four, six three, what have you. But with that 98 jumping, it really closes that margin of what he actually misses out on. Predominantly Ibra, Hullet, potentially Vieira. Some of the really tall meta players you're gonna be out headed by. That's just a standard. It doesn't to be honest, realistically, the only person to really kind of jump against them is Van Dijk and he's just a monster in himself um so this card in general for heading was completely fine I thought he was fantastic in the air and fantastic on the floor couple of others 90 crossing I'd personally I'd was he a right back before this no so he must have been a right back transferred into a center back personally I don't know his backstory but 90 crossing on here regardless that's pretty nice in general just as a one-off stat 95 start and standing tackle with 93 sliding tackle. Perfect. Really, really good. 93 agility. And then the pace, 95 sprint speed with 84 acceleration. For me, that is fantastic on a center back. Fair enough, the agility is not up to the 90s. That realistically for me didn't matter at all. I felt like he was fast enough. He was strong enough. He was, he was just a, a fantastic uh, defender in general. I really, really rated this this setup that I had. Ramos already is a beast, as you'll have seen in the review before. He is just an almighty god. For 350k was an absolute steal to try and get him. Um, and linking him, I felt like they worked really well together. So I'm hoping that I can find that partnership. Like I'm to be honest, I'm finding it with him and Puyol. I think they complement each other well. Um, but I think Hermoso and Ramos complemented each other so well. Look at that pass as well absolutely fantastic in general he just absolutely smashes it in the air away beautiful and again and again and again i literally i had so many clips of him tackling i cut it down i think i only showed you three or four games of what he actually did um and i had eight games played with him so many like tackles standing tackles last ditch challenges he even gets a cheeky assist running through the middle um i don't think that's come up yet but god this card is fantastic. And just looking at what chem style I'll use, obviously you don't want to go with anything pace-wise. I think that is completely fine. Personally, I'd go with a Sentinel. 93 defending with 93 physical. For me, that's a no-brainer. It turns him into a 92 rated centre-back, technically, um, according to Footbim. So, and I think, was it? No, it weren't there. I'm trying to think where this assist went. I'm, I don't know if it's in here or not, or I've already passed it because I've not been watching that. Um, 92 defender. I just, I can't ask for much more from him. From 70k 
to a 92 centre back with a sentinel on. Obviously, there's other options you could go for as well. Um, personally, it depends what you want him for. You could go for defending passing, which is. Or, in fact, you go backbone and get 92 defending, 85 passing, 88 physical. But for me, Sentinel is definitely the one. Um, just looking if there's just a defending passing. You could go with 95 defending, 85 dribbling, if you really fancied it, with uh, Guardian. Gladiator, that's for sh uh, shooting. Anchor would get you the 94 pace, 93 uh, defending, and 90 physical, which, again, is quite nice, to be honest. You can't complain at that. So... Overall review time, as you can see, positioning, tackling, and heading are his main pros for me. I thought he was incredible, absolutely incredible on it. Cons, the only real con that I had with him, and it's a it's a bit of a kind of pulling at loose strings because it can be player related as well. Um, I found that he he left his mark. Sometimes he weren't marking the player every single time, and I'm talking very small minority uh, kind of chances that this happens but i just want to highlight it that sometimes he just he goes in quite quickly he, he very much is straight into the tackle um and that is custom tactic related as well but i do find that sometimes the the if the striker is quite a, a meta striker they do tend to be able to kind of split a run and you have to definitely take control of him to actually stop that from happening but what i found is he was better going forward and missing that marking and absolutely nailing the guy with the ball he was great at kind of stopping that pass before it got there or before he even made it that's what i really liked him for and i thought that is why i kind of enjoyed him 70k like i said super sub for foot champs i think you could definitely make a first team um but i think there is plenty of options out there that obviously a lot of people will already be on for nine out of ten on the value of coins because obviously i still think he is absolutely incredible i'd be very close to putting that as a 10 out of 10 if it dropped to 60k and then an eight out of ten overall just purely for the fact that he is fantastic and i think he's fantastic for an 87 rated card Obviously, you've got your Van Dykes, your Varanes, your Maldinis, your Ramoses. Um, trying to think of any others that people use quite a lot of. Um, you've got... Who else is there? There's got to be another centre-back that I can put in that group. I think that's it. Van Dyke, Maldini. I suppose Poyol was quite a nice one, but that's personally for me. But you've got all of them who are... To be honest, a few of them not as expensive as, as, as you'd imagine. But... I just think he's still got a little bit to go to catch up to them sort of levels. Like comparing him to Ramos, Ramos is leaps and bounds ahead purely because of just his overall card rating. I think if Hermoso had a 95 rated card, he'd play pretty much very similar to how Ramos does. I think they're very similar in them aspects. And I think that's why they link up so, so well. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you make a little like down there and if also if you're new around here if you want to go and subscribe as well bottom right of this video or just down below where the like button is definitely go and do that it makes me it, it just it, it makes me happy in general i'm not gonna lie I, I absolutely love it whenever i get a new subscriber at the minute it has been incredible i i enjoy every single one um and i'm just hitting that total goal that's what i want to do and hopefully you all enjoy these videos with that like. Comment as well. Did you get him in your SBC pack? Are you happy with him? Are you going to try him out? Or have you already tried him out? Let me know down below. Also, if you want to see any more reviews, again, subscription, bell button, always the best thing. We're going to be smashing it. Like I said, hopefully you enjoy. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.